channel, my name is Bray Ling, owner of Posh Life Cosmetics, and this channel is dedicated to everything boss and beauty. Today, we are going to jump into episode 21, and it is going to be on pricing and how to price. No, I'm not going to tell you what you should charge and how you should charge. I'm just going to share with you what factors you should pay attention to and implement in all your expenses. So, if you want to learn what I know, keep on watching. So I'm going to try to do this video. This is like my 12th time trying to get this video correct because my son won't let me be great. But we are on episode 21. I want to thank everyone that has been reaching out to me, letting me know that they have been using my tips and it's working, they see a difference. They, might, they may not comment on my channel, on my videos, but they definitely slide in my DM, which is fine. It doesn't matter how you reach out. Just reach out and let me know. Heard you, Brie. Good looking out. I did it, and it works, and I made a sale. So we are going to talk about pricing and how to price, what factors to plug in before you even set your price list up. So you need to know your target market. You don't want to have prices for lawyers, doctors, dermatologists. You don't want to have those prices for college students because how are they going to afford it? They have part-time jobs, they're full-time students, but you want them to pay $120 for an 18-inch bundle. Make it make sense. We need to figure out our ideal client. We need to figure out where they work. We need to figure out what they like to eat. Do they have a budget? Do what, what, what do they do? What do they do every day? So you need to create a questionnaire for yourself and answer it. What is your ideal client? Is she a girl boss like you? Is she a nurse practitioner? Is she a dermatologist? Is she in law school? Is she a lawyer? What does she do? You need to know so you can know what prices to list your products. Another thing I'm gonna share is don't undersell yourself. For a very long time, I was basically paying my business out of pocket and your business should pay for your business your product should pay for everything so you have to learn the key factors in what you spend to create a price list you spend money on your website your poly mailers your photo shoots your packaging your marketing um your social media marketing, you have to put all those factors into your prices because you don't want to go broke trying to be a boss. And you got kids. And you're not, you're not understanding why you're not making no money because all your money is going into just stuff that your, your price isn't, isn't able to pay for your business. That don't make sense. Learn from me. I did that for a very long time and didn't see no bread. Like, I'm like, why am I not making no money? Cause you, you doing it wrong, boo. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You need to factor in all the expenses. So everything that I just shared from the business cards, website, your um, overhead is, is different, you know? So, and another thing is you don't want to go look at your, you don't want to go look at somebody else's prices and base your prices off of their prices. You can't go to somebody that has an actual storefront, look at their prices and mimic their prices because you don't have you don't have a store you have a storefront on Instagram which is the rent is free, but their prices is based off their overhead and everything that they have to pay for. So if someone has a suite and her suite is $800 a month, she has to base her prices off everything that she's paying for. So if her price is, okay, for example, 
if you go to a home stylist, she charges $85 for traditional sewing versus if you go to a stylist at a salon and she charges $150 for traditional sewing and you're looking at her crazy like, why are you charging me so much? Because, Maxie, get off, get off of my ring light. Because she has a different overhead. She has to pay for her little area every Friday. So yeah, she has to charge 150. She has to charge for her time. She has to charge for her products. She has to charge, she has to pay the person who owns the salon. Like you can't base your pro you can't base your prices off someone else's price, off someone else's prices. I've done that and it just bit me in the butt. So when everyone always asks me, how do you price your wigs? Because so-and-so and so said my prices are too expensive. So that should tell you that that is not your target market. Because once you do, once you share your price with somebody and they, they give you all that, then that's not your target market. Don't even get your feelings hurt. Just understand that that's not your target market. And that's fine. If you are charging over $500, you need to go, your target market needs to be women with real jobs if you want to charge real prices. I always use Alonzo as an um, example. He charges $2,500 for a one-on-one -on -one because he can. Because his target market and his audience gives him that money so he charges 2500 for a one-on-one -on -one. if you take his class yes and it's ex expensive but it's an investment if you take his class you are going to be able to charge 2500 for a client you're gonna have that clientele yeah. with that kind that kind of money he caters to people on tv that's getting that coin so don't look at him crazy like oh my god i can't believe he's charging that much he can and when you get to that point, you'll be able to charge that price too. So it just, he knows his target market and he set the tone as soon as he started making wigs. Like this is this is my ideal client. And if you can't afford it, save your coins or find somebody that you can. And you can't be mad at him about that. You can't. That's why you need to know your target market and you need to set the tone when you create your price list or when you create your business yes it's great to run sales that strategy is awesome but you don't want people just to shop with you when you have sales you want people to save everything you want people to not pay their phone bill so they can buy your product your product is a drug it's a drug and you need to remind these customers that they need your products before they go get their toes done before you go to subway you need to buy these lashes before you pay off your health insurance you need to buy this wig period that's how you have to look at it another factor is if you sell quality products then your price needs to be quality price if you have 5A hair or like processed, processed hair that's not even good, that sheds all the time, that is a whole animal on your head, then you can't charge $500 for this wig. You need to figure it out. And that's why I'm sharing this video. The next thing is, um, what other things that I wanna share? Customer retention. It is very nice to make a sale everybody wants to make a sale but you want that customer to buy everything that you have because you know your ideal clientele and you are a one-stop shop for her she wants everything you cater to her you are her pinterest mood board you have everything that her heart's desire so you need to my son won't let me be great you need to have customer retention. She needs to come to you all the time. When, as soon as you drop it, she needs to go add it to the cart. Add it to the cart kind of day needs to be a vibe for her every time you drop something. And I have customers that go back to back to back to back, buying all the texture wigs, all of them. And you need that. 
because that is going to help you with marketing because she's going to put her homegirls on she's going to put everybody that she knows on and the quality if you sell quality products is going to sell the main thing is marketing because your clients are your brand ambassadors they are going to get you those customers they are going to cut out all that extra headache and work to find customers they are going to be your i'm sorry my son keeps on stepping maxi don't step don't step they're gonna be your brand ambassadors. The next thing is, you know, you need to factor in what products do you use? Do you, you, do you get your products from Walmart or do you get them from Armstrong McCall or do you get them from Sally? I take pride in the products that I buy. I buy no. the best. What? I buy the best. What the? No, Sulfate, when you get your hair, what you are the? going to fall in love. The hair is going to be silky. The hair is going to smell so good. I got customers telling me, oh my God, my hair smells so good, I don't want to wash my hair. You have to wash it, I'm sorry. You have to wash your hair. But that plays a really big part. How long does it take you to make the wig? Well, this is just for somebody that does the same thing as me. How long it takes you to make the wig? What products do you use? How much is it to get it shipped to you? How much is it to get it shipped? You also have to put in taxes because you have to pay those taxes back. So what I do is I... I looked up my state sales tax and I add that to my business because I have to pay that back at the end of the year. So a lot of people don't do that. Like you have to implement sales tax. You have to. So hopefully I'm going to end it like this and I hope this helps you. I'm not going to tell you what to price your products. I'm not going to tell you how to price your products, but I'm going to tell you to know your worth and understand when somebody tells you that it's too much or they don't have it, then direct them to the local beauty supply store. And understand that that's not your target market. I used to, Maxie, I used to get my feelings hurt when people say, oh, that's so much. I had one client back from back home. She she got two weeks for me, but she kept on telling me like, oh, this is, this is too expensive. Okay, well, did you tell Apple that? Because you just, last time the iPhone just dropped, you, you went to go cop that. So, do you tell Apple that they're too expensive? Do you tell the gas station that they're too expensive? Do you tell the designer stores that they're too expensive? No. So, don't tell me what is too expensive, baby. Because I'm going to direct you to the local beauty supply store. And that's that on that. Okay. So I hope you guys find me on Instagram at Posh Life Free. Let me know if this helps you or, you know, this did something to, to your business. If you channel my energy, let me know. You know, we girl bosses are taking over, period. We are taking over. I will see you guys next time and bye.